Hello and welcome to a new series on the Eclipse Baits channel. This is Eclipse Baits Club Sessions. So bright and sunny. Right, we're here. Yes, Saturday morning. So we're all set up now. We've chosen Peg 30 on our Club Lake in Kent. Uh, it's on the big lake, which you've probably seen on some of our reality carp fishing TV channels. Part of the caps ticket. And we've chosen pe Peg 30. I've seen one or two fish. There's a lot of fish down the other end, um, but the wind changes tonight, doesn't it? So, yeah, middle afternoon, something like that. So we're going to be a bit of rain, a bit cooler conditions. So Yeah, so we're sort of hoping that they push down here, which they might do with it being a new wind. Yeah, but hopefully all, we can catch a few, eh? Hopefully we can catch a few, but there's also a chance of spawning inside. Yeah, it's been very close over the last couple of weeks. People reporting that it's happening, but there's no signs of it today. No so signs yet. <coughs> a few so, fish topping, so. So we've got to give it a go, haven't we? Yeah. So let's get our bait out there and uh, see what 24 hours brings us. Yeah. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Lee May Hack. Can't reveal my hack just yet. <laughs> And she said, um, no, she? We've, we've only got blue soap. She said, no, it's fine, I've got my bike outside. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What type <laughs> of bike was it? Um, BMX. Oh, okay. Looks so, like I had a tandem for you. Nah. Was it Imperial Leather soap by any chance? It was blue soap. Oh, okay. Reality Cart Fishing TV for Eclipse Baits. Yeah. It's been a long time, I forgot what it, to say. Yeah. The boys standing on the bank with you. The boys are back together again. We are. Here we are, and we're on our Kent Club Lake. So this is the Club Lake Sessions, new series on the channel. It'll be featuring me and Lee through the year, doing our sessions on our club waters. Yeah, get you a 40, mate, it's what we need. So I need to catch a 40, and Lee needs to catch another 40. I am just want to catch some fish. Yeah, I just really want to care. catch fish. But honestly, if I don't get a 40, I'm not bothered. I just want to catch fish. That's what I enjoy doing. If I do catch a 40, that will get that monkey off my back. But I'm not, I'm, it's not the be all and end all of my fishing. I just want to come out, enjoy myself, catch a few fish. No, that's it. It's what it's about. Get an escape from life. I mean, life has exactly. been busy for both of us, mate, and it really. I've yeah. had lots going on yeah. over the last two years that really restricted my fishing. Um, and likewise, probably you have as well. Yeah, I think absolutely. That's why we haven't been on the bank. Sort of absolutely. since COVID, everything sort of getting back into normal. Doing you well, I was doing a total up, and I think I was doing about five sessions a year. And that's, <laughs> that's nothing. That's mate. crap, isn't it? Some people do that in a month. I know. Absolute yeah. rubbish. But yeah, we're going to try and do a few more this year. My arm is starting to ache already, so I'm going to change position, and we'll come back to you. There we go. That's and in the arms. words of Richard Madeley, and welcome back. Is that Richard made his yeah, favourite right. words? <laughs> I don't, don't know what programmes you've been watching, mate. Don't, don't chat shit, don't worry. TV poisons your mind. Yeah, so what we plan to do on this series is uh, show the captures, obviously, um, show the good times and the bad times. We'll show the blanks as well. But we'll chat about bait, show the baits we're using, uh, obviously the rigs and tactics that we're using to try and catch these carp. Indeed, there'll be some silliness in the middle from me, obviously, while we wind and pull up talking stupid standard. acting stupid standard while calling him and calling him a noddy and catching fish yeah but there we go that's what mates do but yeah i'm looking forward to it it's been a long time the duo's back
this is where my rods are positioned. I'm using two rods. I've got one there, see where the wind line is, and then one there, They're both at 12 wraps. Really, really hard spot. And I've given them about 20 spawns worth of hemp, corn, and the create your own maple toffee boilies with a good helping of some liquids including the uh, supreme cream smokes to get a nice bit of attraction out there for when they turn up hello hello mate you all right on your bed again yeah chilling chilling watching the lake trying to catch big carp look got a tan everything and everything and everything or like pylons concrete yep fridges Yep. Everything. Yep. So hook bait wise, this is what I've got on. One of the create your own. This is my own little create your own. Maple toffee. Smells absolutely delicious. So these were rolled by Dave in the factory. As part of create your own range. Three different base mixes, 42 different flavors. You choose what you want. So I've got one of those on on my one of my rods and along with these in my spot mix with the hemp and corn and I'm topping it off with one of these icons which is imitation corn they sit lovely on the bottom of your hook baits give it that flash of color and because they're food grade they're not plastic where a lot of fisheries ban plastic these days perfect just like a little piece of sweet corn underneath your hook bait and obviously because it's a pop-up it gives that bottom bait neutral buoyancy and on my other rod put loads of the supreme cream smokes on them but there they are all infused with the supreme cream smokes so they're going to leak off loads of attraction all the time they're out on the lake bed enticing the carp to come along and eat them so these are the supreme cream pop-ups i'm fishing that on a ronnie there's the supreme cream smokes give it a good shake and then you can put that in your pva bags as well or in your spot mix or you can just douse up your pop-ups in it excellent excellent little thing that love them so at the back end of last year which was my last trip down here. I managed to catch a 30 pounder. I think it was 30 pound, two ounce mirror. So I thought, oh, I haven't shown anyone the footage of that. So I thought I'd show you that now. And incidentally, it was caught on Eclipse Bait's uh, powder jacket with an icon topper, I believe. So yeah, here's that 30 pound mirror. But here we go. Second night of a three night trip. And I've got a 30 pounder, 30 pound two. About three o'clock in the morning after the rain on my 16 wrap spot eclipse full powder jacket as bait over loads of hemp and loose armholes flat rodding me at the start and then run everywhere around the lake but I've got him in and I'm well pleased off the mark Fishing hack point one. <laughs> one 1.0. Yeah, 1.0. Version one, 1.0. Fishing on swims with steps. Now, usually, as anglers, we would let rest our rods on the wood. You see, but hack number one is to put your bank sticks into the floor with your buzz bars and put your butt rest straight into your buzz bars, keeping your rods off off of the wood from the stone stops them getting scratched you know and simple also, but effective. what it will do is when you get a screaming take it won't pull your rod in because obviously you've got your butt grips there they are the wrong size butt grips just for this purpose but that's not a hack wrong size butt grips grip. no because my butt my butt rest my jag ones are sitting on the other uh uprights they're on the uprights so i couldn't be asked to one take them all off but that's lazy angling so that's not a hack 
Why have you got to go and spoil it? <laughs> but no, good hack. Yep. Yeah. So that's my hack for fishing on uneven ground. Lower your buzz bars at the back by putting your butt rest straight into the buzz bars. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, it is a hack because I'm going to show you. He's copied. Oh, look. What's down there? What? Oh, buzz bars on the floor with his butt rests in them. Mm. But that's Squad the goals. The hack, isn't it? It's a copy. Yeah, it is. It, it shows it's yeah. work. Protect your rods. Rods have been out for a few hours now and the wind has changed which is what we wanted um, it's now blowing northerly which is down this end of the lake uh, i'm hoping that the fish follow it and from what i've seen they have so there's been quite a few showing out in front of me and to my right so i think a few have moved up on this new wind and uh confidence has hit the you know gone through the roof and um, yeah because our friend James is fishing down the other end of the lake and he said the fish were down there this morning and now they seem to be here so yeah I'm quite confident that uh, I might nab one. A bit more baiting tonight i think go shit or bust put another 20 spawns out before i go to bed on the off chance they do me moving on it um unfortunately there's a lot of bream in here so i want there to be enough bait on the bottom there for the carp to find and to try and hold them there and get at least one or two fish overnight that's the plan lee's just gone down chippy for us to go and get a sausage and chips good lad and some tea bag i forgot tea bags i never forget tea bags what an idiot I do like my cup of tea <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna have me chips spot a bit more bait out and let's see what tonight brings Adam and Eve it, not a bleep. Actually, that's a lie. Not a bleep for you, mate. No, no bleep for me, but you caught two. Oh yeah, I caught two, yeah, wonderful. Two bream. <laughs> One was massive. It was huge, mate. It made like, it made a, a mid-double look small. It was a big old bream. One o'clock in the morning, that's not what you want. Um, I thought you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, I always enjoy it, getting up for bream at silly o'clock. It was a good excuse to get up and have a pee though, wasn't it? <laughs> it's always a good excuse to get up and have a wee. you get a my age. But uh, there was a few fish showing throughout the day and they started to become a little bit active later on in the day when it cooled down a little bit, mm. didn't it? It um, did. And the wind dropped right off and you could see them. Um, Got really confident. Yeah, there's a few fish showing, but upon sort of late last night and getting up this morning, unfortunately you can see it started to happen. And I think they're having sexy time. Yeah, there's loads of weeds smashed up in the edge of the margin here. Um, and there's a place just a little bit further up uh, off the back of an island and in a little a little bay bit there that they go. Um, so, unfortunately, it looks like it's time to pack up and go home. Yeah, it's like soup over there, isn't it? Yeah, the water's like, really, really clouded up. Um, like, like we put loads of Eclipse gravy in there. <laughs> <laughs> it does. And it was gin clear yesterday. I thought, oh, it's a good sign they're not spawning. Um, oh, yeah, but this, this weather, yesterday it was a bit warm um, and to this morning it's really sunny and really hot. So 
Yeah. Time yeah. to go home. Time to go home. There's Leave always the next it. time, isn't there? Yeah. A couple of weeks. Give yeah. it a couple of weeks. Let them get out of their system. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the bank very soon. Um, as I said to you earlier on, we're going to do a few waters on our club tickets and uh, show you how we get on on those. Yes, yeah, so tight lines to those who are out on the bank. Take it easy and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.